friends and family. Um, it's Saturday morning. <sighs> we have a gig today with Rose's Cantina at 1 p.m. And because I had a very busy month doing a theater production, um, as well as our bass player was out of town touring in South Africa, we haven't played a show in like a month. So maybe a little longer. So my voice is really stiff. I haven't been doing a lot of singing other than with my uh, clients. So I want to warm up really thoroughly today so that I can be really ready for my show and not feel stiff and yucky and just out of sorts when I get up on stage today. So I thought it's Saturday. A lot of you probably have gigs this evening or this afternoon. Um, and I wanted to give you guys a warm up you can use all weekend. FYI, um, Josh is out getting a burrito. He'll probably be home soon and the dogs will bark and there will be a Josh and he'll have a burrito. And it might be a little disruptive, but you never know. He might join in the fun. He likes to warm up too. So anyway, when we're warming up, especially if you are newer to singing or if you haven't been singing much lately, I always start by dropping into the body. So I'm going to begin with some deep breaths and just a little bit of movement in my body. And also you notice that I don't have any of my makeup for the day on. And that's because I am going to later steam my face before I put on my makeup. And I'm also going to do a lot, a lot of like stretching in my jaw and like touching my face. And I'll probably end up blowing my nose a few times because some of this stuff tends to loosen up the sinuses. So um, if you can warm up before you get ready for the gig, that's a little better so you can really not have that layer of don't mess with me. <laughs> okay, so uh, we're just going to drop into your body and start off with some nice deep breaths. Uh, I like to sigh them out, kind of letting tension go through the voice. Two more. Inhale. Uh, and one more. Good. I'm going to start stretching my arms up overhead. I've got to watch out for this ceiling fan. So big stretch up, inhale. Little back bend on your exhale. Open up the heart. Maybe squeeze your glutes a little bit. Inhale up. And exhale down. A couple big shoulder rolls. Just loosening up the body. Any tension that you have in your neck, your shoulders, your jaw, that stuff really impedes your tone. It really uh, prevents you from sounding really free and relaxed in your voice. So let's do another round of those. Inhale, arms high. Exhale, little back bend. Squeeze the glutes, open the chest. Look up, stretch up, and then inhale high. Fingers reaching for the ceiling up and out of your waist. Exhale, arms down, big juicy shoulder rolls up, down, and back. Good. All right, this time take your right arm high, bend your elbow, take a hold of it, stretch up and out. This is a really good one to start to feel your breath moving, not just in the belly. Everyone talks about belly breath, but we want to actually feel the breath 360 degrees. So when you're up and over like this, you've got a little bend in your knees and a little tuck in your tailbone so you don't hurt your back. You're just going a little bend in the waist, just as far as feels like a nice stretch through the ribs. And then we're going to stop and take a few deep breaths here and feel the lungs actually press out on your right rib cage here. So let's take three deep breaths. Again. I'm going a little deeper as I breathe. One more, feeling the rib cage really expand. Hmm. Come back through center. Take that same arm across your chest. Press your shoulder down and tilt your head toward your opposite side. Stretching out that neck fascia. We don't want any tension or any tight muscles here as we start to warm up for the day. And let's get the other side. Left arm high, stretch up and out of the waist. Bend the elbow, take a hold of your tricep or your elbow. Up and out of the waistline, you have a little bend in your knees and a tuck in your tail. Three deep breaths, feeling that left rib cage expand. 
Hmm. If it feels good to sigh, take a sigh. If it feels good to look up at that elbow, you may. Back through center. Take the other arm across. If you're not a singer and you're here and you just want to do this, it feels really good. It's a good way to just wake up the body. We're going to tilt your ear toward your opposite shoulder. Press this shoulder away from the ear and try not to hold on to your joints. You want to hold on right on that muscle there. <sighs> okay, we're going to shake it out. Shake, 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 shake. Even the head, shake your hair, shake it out, shake it out, shake it out, nice and loose. <laughs> Seeing warm-ups are totally ridiculous if you've never done them before. And they feel awesome, and they free you up in your body and in your, you know, need to look good. They don't always look good. They look kind of stupid. So next, speaking of looking stupid, we're going to stretch the jaw and loosen up the tongue root, which can hold a lot of tension through here. It's really important not to be tense here as we get into singing, especially if you wanna go higher, you wanna get bigger. So um, I'm gonna take this little crook of my hand right here, place it on my chin. This is so unattractive, and I'm sorry in advance. We're gonna stretch your jaw as low as you can. So big, open jaw. <laughs> Okay, so did you notice when I was in there, actually when I got to that low point, I lifted my eyebrows as well. And this time as I go, I'm gonna lift the eyebrows again and then I'm gonna stick my tongue all the way out. You're welcome, here we go. Ah, it almost hurts, there's a little aching when I do that and that's good. You don't want it to hurt, hurt like you shouldn't be hurting yourself, but there's a little ache of the stretch like you would feel in a stretch in your body. Let's do one more, and this time as big as you can get it. <laughs> ah, all right, it kind of hurts. I'm gonna take these two fingers on both sides and massage that jawbone. You can see it's right here where you open and close. There's a big muscle right there. You can feel it, it's a nice, nice jolly muscle. Give it circular massage both ways. Mm, switch directions. Mm, feels really good. And we're going to get the temples in the same way. So right here in that little divot behind your eyes. Mm. And the other way. Good. All right, the last few we're gonna do with the face. We're gonna tuck your tongue behind your bottom teeth and then stick it out. So it's gonna kind of protrude out of your mouth, but the tip is still gonna be tucked right behind your teeth. So we're stretching that tongue root again. And it will also stretch your jaw low. It looks like this. <laughs> it's so pretty. I love, love these chin rolls, right? Here we go again. <laughs> Okay, on these last two, what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna keep my eyes locked on you on the camera, but I'm gonna do the same thing with my tongue, sticking it out with the tip tucked, and then I'm going to keep my eyes on the camera and tilt my head down, and then tilt my head up. So for you guys, it wouldn't be a camera, it'd be just a spot on the wall. So that's gonna kinda just get everything in the neck moving, the jaw open, the tongue release, so it looks like this. <laughs> so stupid but it feels great it does work so you can also kind of use your hands to like get that little bit of tension right here in your neck and just get it out okay so we're kind of into the body we've warmed up a little bit we're a little stretched out we're gonna start singing a bit and this one is also really nice and fun and stupid which is we're gonna take a deep belly breath like we always do for singing and then we'll use a lip Trill, moving upwards, and we're gonna shake your head while you do it, like you're in a shampoo commercial. So that creates none of this engagement in your swallow muscles. As you're doing this, those muscles stay relaxed, and that's what we want when we sing. We don't really want any of this to engage, okay? So, big breath in. That's how it goes, two more, inhale. 
Last one. <laughs> Moving into some humming, we're gonna go on to the keyboard here. And humming is awesome because it, um, for so many reasons, it's gonna wake up your mask and all of that energy right on your lip, teeth, and tongue, that forward, nice, um, resonant sound. Humming is resonant by nature, so if you're searching for resonance in your singing tone, this is one way to hit it right away and make sure it happens. Also, it's a super calming thing. So even if you're not a singer and you just suffer from anxiety or stress, humming, um, it stimulates the vagus nerve, which runs from your brainstem all the way through your body. It's very much connected to your larynx, and humming makes it super calming effect in your central nervous system. So it creates some peace, okay? If you're like freaking out, hum. It's why a lot of the chanting yogic traditions exist, the um, that hum sound is very um, centering and it makes your body literally hum from the inside out. You're vibrating yourself. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna go from one to five to one. You'll go mm, and then we're gonna move down since it's early in the day. We haven't done much singing yet. today it's 10 o'clock here which is pretty early for the voice that was about where my voice started feeling a little tight so I'm gonna stop right there move back down and then keep kind of pushing either way because I don't want to um I don't want to take it too far at first this is kind of like dipping your toes into the water gradually warming up right we don't want to just go full-on sprint right out the gate so um, I'm gonna move to a lip bubble which is um, oh sounds like Josh is on uh oh Hold on. I might have laughed about it. I don't know why that was locked. Hold on. All right. So, I'm going to move to a lip bubble. These are kind of the best warm up ever. If you can't do it, you can use a tongue roll or a V sound. Right? Um, so, let's go into an octave. We'll move a little bit farther with our voice. We'll come back down. Hi, dearest. If you want to join in the warm-up, you can. Shower. He's going to take a shower. Okay, well, we're going to warm up. Thank <laughs> you. 
because it really wakes up your face. It really, um, it also creates back pressure on the cords, which kind of helps stretch them out. It creates an ideal open and close condition in them. So it really creates the um, sensation of what balanced singing feels like, even when you get into a song. That kind of relaxed and flowy sound is what you want even when you're singing lyrics, not just on that crazy lip bubble. So we're going to keep going on the lip bubble, um, and this time we're going to add a little bit more complicated movement. So we'll use an arpeggio, and it'll sound like this, right? So sorry. getting exhausting that one doesn't last as long you could always go back to a hum or you could try these um, maybe it's time for all of us to try opening up let's maybe sing it on an E, e vowel e -E 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 -E. oh hello good morning real voice <laughs> let's take it back down a couple we'll continue on that E so we'll go let's go from here too low you can jump up the octave you can drop out and wait till it comes back around for you whatever works best here we go e Ah, 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 ah,
do it for you, Marcella. <laughs> really low for me but notice um as i get lower i'm not relaxing i'm not over like uh, i'm actually getting bigger just like if i was singing ah, i'm gonna sing that low end with the same openness the same lift ah, ah, ah. i'm trying not to tuck my chin we do this a lot that's not what we want we want that perfect alignment so you can see it's nice and straight when i do that Okay, uh, moving on, let's warm up our chest voice a little bit more. We're going to use the word zoo. Z is a nice singable consonant. Um, and it's zoo, zoo, zoo. That was a little bit of a rough start. <coughs> Pardon me. Zoo, zoo, zoo. 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 So you notice as soon as you get out of that head voice region and you can switch over to more full voice tone or a mix, go ahead. That's what we want to warm up those bigger tones here. Zoo, zoo, zoo. 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 lift in the face as you go low don't relax too much okay um next i want to get into the mask a little bit today's gig for me is a country toned gig so a lot of really bright sounds uh happening in my set and a lot of mix so i want to make sure it's really like stretched out ready to go before i show up and try and try and just let it out of my body it's not going to work my voice will crack it'll feel really unstable it won't feel nice it won't sound nice so we're going to go on into that mask region, and uh, I'm going to do one I like to do with my friend Whitney, if she's still here. Maybe she'll get it later on if she's not, but we're going to meow like a cat, <laughs> and it's on the five-note scale, and I, I want this not to be pretty. Like, don't make this meow, 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 you know, like, well, that's not even that pretty, but I want this ugly, bright, nasal, and really forward in the mask, so... Meow, 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 meow. And the E, yeah, that kind of Y sound in there is really what we're using to get into the placement that we want. So, meow, 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 it's going to get a little wobbly, a little wonky up here. We're going to keep going. And I want you to try and stay in that mixed tone. Don't let it pop up to head here. If it breaks, it's fine. You're just warming up. This isn't stage, right? So I want you to try and keep it in that yeah, yeah, tone versus meow, yeah, right? We don't want to let it go to that airy, thin quality. So this can be ugly. It's fine. I give you permission to sound awful. Sorry, neighbors. Here we go. Meow, 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 meow. Now be careful not to get into a shouting condition as you go high. If you need to drop out, you can, but go as far as you can and really let the nasal pharynx take the brunt of the work here. Meow, 
so breathy I'm not letting the chords come apart and be loose like I would in a pure head tone so let's do just a couple more if you're not getting these you can always come back and um, work your way up to it this takes a little development meow, meow. as far as I'm going to take my voice on it this morning because again I haven't done any of this high mixed belt singing in a long minute so we're going to work into it okay last few let's do some chromatic tones okay so this one is a good one to wake up your articulation your lips teeth and tongue so that your words are really nice and clean understandable if you're somebody like I saw Tony P was here earlier he does some really amazing covers of like uh, Michael Jackson and Elton John and Prince I think I could be wrong Tony correct me in the comments if I'm wrong but um those sorts of songs with lots of lyrics and lots of words and lots of percussion in them, you need to be able to be awake right here, right? So you can get the words literally out of your mouth and make them intelligible to the listener. So we sing on vowels a ton when we're singing. Uh, we like vowels as singers, but the consonants are equally important. So this one, we're going to use really tiny steps, half steps, chromatic movement, and we're going to use the words to Mary had a little lamb. And it sounds like this. So hopefully you know that. And if not, you'll learn it after a few tries, I guess. <laughs> May. It's a pretty low start, but that's okay. So it goes, Mary had a little lamb whose fleece was white as snow. Everywhere that Mary went, that lamb was sure to go. Okay? So that's how we're going to do it. We're going to add a, I'll do the first few a little slower so you can get the hang of it. But then we're going to speed it up, and that's where that articulation comes into play. Whoops. We'll start there. <laughs> Here we go. Mary had a little lamb whose fleece was white as snow. Everywhere that Mary went, that lamb was sure to go. Mary had a little lamb whose fleece was white as snow. Everywhere that Mary went, that lamb was sure to go. Mary had a little lamb whose fleece was white as snow. Everywhere that Mary went, that lamb was sure to go. Mary had a little lamb whose fleece was white as snow. Everywhere that Mary went, that lamb was sure to go. Mary had a little lamb whose fleece was white as snow. Everywhere that Mary went, that lamb was sure to go. Mary had a little lamb whose fleece was white as snow. Everywhere that Mary went, that lamb was sure to go. Mary had a little lamb whose fleece was white as snow. Everywhere that Mary went, that lamb was sure to go. Mary had a little lamb whose fleece was white as snow. Everywhere that Mary went, that lamb was sure to go. Now I'm crossing over my break in this octave, and I'm just letting it go up into a head voice. I'm not trying to do anything tricky with my registers. I'm just letting them lie where they are. The attention here is on the lips, teeth, and tongue, getting those words out and getting those half-tone chromatic movements accurate. Here we go again. Mary had a little lamb whose fleece was white as snow. Everywhere that Mary went, that lamb was sure to go. Mary had a little lamb whose fleece was white as snow. Everywhere that Mary went, that lamb was sure to go. Mary had a little lamb whose fleece was white as snow. Everywhere that Mary went, that lamb was 
sure to go. Mary had a little lamb, whose face was white as snow. Everywhere that Mary went, that lamb was sure to go. I'm going to play a few more and not sing them for those of you who might have a higher range than I do, who maybe want to keep going. And uh, go for it. I'm going to give you two more. couple things we're going to finish up with. I want to do a few sirens because I feel like even though we've been warming up for a while, I still really haven't stretched my voice to its limits and a siren is a really safe way to do so. Also sliding between the notes connects your registers really well. So it kind of smooths over those breaky moments in the voice. So we're going to do that. Um, we'll do three of each. The first one, I want to go back to the lip bubble. The second one, we're going to do on an ah, just a nice open drop jaw ah, and a lift on the inside of the mouth. And then the last one, we're going to use the word ring and get back into that nasopharynx one last time. Okay, so three sets of each, and I want you to connect them each time. So the breath happens, the siren happens. The breath happens, the siren happens, the breath happens, the siren happens. So mimicking like you're singing in a song. You breathe till you're full, you sing till you're empty, then you breathe again, right? So you're not really hanging or stopping on either side. It's a flow state. Okay, so the first one is a lip bubble. Here we go. Shoulders relaxed. Nice little bend in your knees. Soft body. Inhale. Switching to the ah. Uh. coming off my cords, a little phlegm. I had a little break in the first ones. I don't care. That's If this happens now in the warm-up, then it's not going to happen on stage, okay? So you want to go for those yucky sounds here. You want to get all those breaks and kinks out of the way. So by the time you're on stage, your voice feels really stretched out, limber, ready to perform at its very best. So last set, excuse me, we're going to use the word, remember I told you how uh, all these will loosen up your sinuses and my nose is definitely running. So um, good thing I don't have a full face of makeup on that I would have to like wipe off and reapply, which those of you who are in makeup know how much a pain in the ass that is. Okay. So, ooh, on the way up, and then we'll use the word ring on the way down, but we're going to hang on the NG sound. Mm, mm. That means the tip of your tongue is on the roof of your mouth. They're connected. And that sound's going to be really in your nose. So ring. It's right in here, okay? I am going to blow my nose. Live on the internet for all to see, I'm going to blow my nose. This is complete humility. <laughs> Ooh, on the way up, ring on the way down. We'll do three sets connected just like the other one. Here we go. <laughs> that looks so dumb, but it's a beautiful siren sound. I lied to you. I wanted to do three connected, and then I started yapping. So let's start again. Three connected. We will go all the way through this time. Here we go. Last one. 
last one. <laughs> okay. So this video is getting close to 40 minutes. You don't need to warm up for 40 minutes. Today that felt like what I needed, but I also talked a lot to you guys in between. So um, this warm up, you know, without chit chat could take probably 20 minutes and you could be feeling really good. The last thing I'm going to do, which I won't do on camera, but I want to tell you about it, is I'm going to sing through this straw. It's like a metal reusable straw. Um, I'm going to pick probably my most challenging song or maybe two or three of my most challenging songs I'm going to sing in my set today and I'm going to sing them through the straw and it just would be like, uh, you know, let's see, driving nails in my coffin is one that I sing that's really high up and a little challenging for me. So it goes, uh, <laughs> Right? So I'm literally singing the melody of my song. I'm thinking the words, but I'm not really, I'm not going like, you hear how I was trying to say the words? That's not it. We're more, it's more of a hum or a, a, an ooh, something like that. Pick a vowel and sing it through the straw a few times. It's going to continue to add that back pressure, create that beautiful balanced singing condition. And by the time you sing your most challenging song three times through a straw, your voice is going to feel like freaking liquid gold. I promise you. Um, and when you do that, you want to create a seal on the straw. All right? And then when you're singing, you should feel air coming out the end. I can feel that air coming out. In fact, there's a little drool coming out of it, too. So that's all the glamour of actual singing, people. <laughs> um, I hope you guys have a great day. Happy shows if you're a singer and performing this weekend. I'm up in Vista today. If anybody is in the North County area, we'll be at uh, Town Hall Public House from 1 to 3 p.m. And that's going to be a fun show. I'm also at Seaside uh, Spiritual Center for Spiritual Living tomorrow morning. I'm filling in for Rebecca Jade there. It's a really positive, uplifting experience. If anybody is interested in going and getting a little uh, weight off your heart, that's a great place to do it. And lastly, Tuesday, I'm teaching a live masterclass on the anatomy of singing, on the three systems, your breath, your vibratory system, which is your larynx, and then your resonance system, which is all in your face, which we worked on a lot today. So if you want to learn those basics, I, want, I encourage you to sign up uh, in the event page on my Facebook and come see that live training. And then my last promotion I have for you today is that I'm doing a Black Friday sale. Uh, and small, it's Small Business Saturday, right? So I'm a small business, like really small, in this little apartment with my two dogs and my hubby, future hubby. Uh, three lessons for 147. So that's a really, really great rate. I created it just so if you're not sure about voice lessons or if you've been with me for a while and you want to extend your package, it's a really affordable way to do so. So I hope you guys will join me again. Have an awesome weekend, and thank you so much for watching, and happy warming up. Ha, ha, ha.